What is up, YouTube? It's Jade out here bringing you my first video. It's a Let's Play series I'm going to start. It's called uh, Let's Play Game of Thrones from the Telltale Games, Game of Thrones. It's been out for a while, but I figured this would be pretty cool. Game of Thrones is an awesome TV show, my favorite show. So let's uh, begin. I'm going to break it down kind of scene by scene. Not scene by scene, but try to give some background for some explanation because I've seen all of Game of Thrones and I've read the first two books so I can help a little bit uh, I've already played this episode once but the episodes after this all the way up to four is out episodes after this haven't played so after this one it'll be a fresh experience just like you guys will be experiencing so let's uh, get right into this guys episode one begin hopefully the volume is correct and all that uh, first video I'll try to work the bugs out from here on out but See how it works. Okay, so if none of you have seen Game of Thrones, the biggest thing that anyone will tell you that's watched Game of Thrones is that no character is safe. They can die at any time. So don't get completely attached to a character because before you know it, they will be gone. Okay, uh, thousands of years, House Forster has been the lower bannerment House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the wolf's wood, they harvest that rare ironwood trees. Now the north has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim Forrester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. Okay, so spoiler from here on out, if you haven't seen all the way up to season 3, episode 9, this picks up right at before season 3, episode I think it's not. It's about to happen. The Red Wedding. The Reigns of Casting. So. Lots of celebrating. The great because, uh, Kingsley, both the wedding is happening. Uh, to his knees by the, the king of the north, the north is marrying the women. You think he did it himself the, the way he sorry. tells it. Uh... Shit, sword won't uh, be Tuttle, itself, you know. I think it's a Tuttle, correct me, is marrying a girl there to to fulfill a, somewhat of a promise so that they get the uh, access to the rivers so they can cross and then go attack uh, House Lancer's sure home place and then he's escaping well, from Forrester won't be happy with uh, blood and brains all over it. Go on. Castle Rock, blood. so then go attack Castle Rock. Now that... But, sword. as you can see, I'll we're a squire for a uh, house force. There's yeah. a, a little bannerman of like Stark. So. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, we are just a squire. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn up. The I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer okay. at Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. So what really happened? Someone caught him I'm gonna try to fill him out. That's what I usually do. I don't try to make any waves when I first meet people. I try to play the piece. Well, I don't because hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. Being noble. What did I tell you? Kill him. Brought him to his knees. Good Forrester. But not before he dragged you out for a cross. That's what I'm scoring for. Your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Grows more far fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. Okay, so the Kingslayer they're talking about is Jamie Lannister. Thank uh, you, Garrett. He's How in the King's Guard for the King. He betrayed the last king by literally stabbing him in the back so that the rebellion could be a lot less bloody. And so. He held out the rebellion, but still has a bad rap for betraying the Christmas is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. And now currently they're in the War of the Five Kings. And these are part of the King of the North. They're trying to break away from the main king in King's Landing. Who the, the Kingslayer is fighting King for. The fighting against the Kingslayer. The King the King the King Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the Vanguard. The gods of favorites. The Vanguard. 
Straight in the front, middle. The North remembers. The North remembers. Yeah. If I was put in a situation like that, it would be so awkward. I would say my cheer and no one would say anything. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. Okay, hold on. I'm going to turn up the game volume just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, so I'm recording this on a Sunday, so the new Game of Thrones comes on in about three hours. So this is helping me get in the zone. Ooh, now I got turned down. There's also the question what's to be done with you? Hold on, I'm sorry. My game volume levels are uh, not where I want them to be. Okay. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something. Must be done. Just trying to play in the middle, not trying to be too aggressive right now. Well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've He's more than wanted to fight. He's kind of offering it. So. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. You've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side. So the way that I'm wanting to play this, not as a squire, but as it's the It's not how most people will play it. I guess most people will play it, say the right things, be it's noble. Well deserved, but thank you, my lord. I want to play it as the backstabbing, trickery that person that's kind of like a Lord Peter Baelish that plays behind the scenes, the kind of plays all yes, angles. Because that's how you survive in this world of Westeros. I will, my lord. Thank you. Eventually, for like, say, episode three or four, I want to maybe stream it, have some people watching, and we can kind of have live choices and decide what we want to do together. I feel like that would be a pretty cool thing. Come on. But I'll set that up, maybe. Do it yourself. I've been a squire longer than you. Which means I outrank him. The reason I'm being so, so confrontational so with him is because he's just a squire, a local squire, like a small squire. I don't really owe him anything. He, he noticed me saying that, but I don't think it really matters. If was someone higher, I would kiss their ass, but... Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try Squire in for Nora and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. Five grown up see, we're celebrating all out here, but inside the, uh, the twins, the castle, the, the, seven the uh, red wedding is happening right now. Pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? So, from the name of the red wedding, I mean red Pig for farms. blood, so it's a bloody affair. <laughs> All I'm saying is things will probably turn south really fast. This will be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. He does guys with their. Uh, all I know, we could be squires for life. Let's see. All in line around the fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. I'm not gonna Go tell him I got promoted just by some say. magical scenario. Maybe if my uncle we'll survives and get through this, if he gets up there too, I don't hold that against me. Who my uncle is. That's nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. See, those are the twins up there. I'll be quiet so you can hear the music if it plays. The red wedding. Take your time. See, that's a fray. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walters, in a generous mood. Fucking frays. Nice. See, he knows. If they're celebrating, why do they have all their swords, crossbows? Out at the ready. He finds a willing husband for they should be drinking. Places. At this moment, you know shit's about to get crazy. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? It's my phone. Sorry. That's the music. Just into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. 
I'm gonna try to save our lives. Fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? He knows. Something the matter. Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in he such knows. a rush. Uh, fuck it, I'm not saving him. Good luck. Oh, shit. I feel like whatever would happen there, it would have been bloody. Plus, warning Lord Forcer is never priority. The phrase. Trying to get through this. Dodging blades like it's my job. Sorry, I didn't find the button. Got that ironwood shield. Ready, boys. Whoa. See, all the Northmen are all drunk and Shoot they're all sober and ready to fight. So. Burning wagon. I think he's ending up in the worst scenario possible for something like this. Uh oh, smash an A. Can't beat that. So this is my first Telltale game. I didn't play the. I've played like five minutes of The Walking Dead. Other than that, nothing. Good fucking riddance. See, why would he even do more? He just got stabbed in the foot, and the horse fell on him. And like, he might still be alive. Oh shit. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Uh, make him I make it look like I tried to save him in case we get out of here. there's nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I, I didn't leave him. But I couldn't save him. Better than telling him I left him. Quickly. He's never gonna find out because that bitch is dead. <laughs> See, why didn't he do that earlier? Facial expressions. You fucking traitor! Go, my lord. While there's still time. See, Walter Frey, they call him the late Walter Frey. He's known throughout the Westeros world as being useless oh. and not good for anything. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. He's about to die, so what Walter I say doesn't really matter. Dogs. Walter Frey says time's over. <gasps> but... Maybe I should play it as noble since I'm playing as a dude from the north and most of them are usually noble. With the exception of this with some life. people like the Boltons. It's it iron rat where it belongs. There's no time. I'll be 
So this is like the family symbol of this great sword. I have to return it to the house. That's the personal mission he's giving me. You have to go. Give him peace. I will do as you command, You have served me well. Keep it if I could. Tell your uncle. Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear. The North Grove must never be lost. And tell only my uncle. It's those foresters. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those fucking foresters! We've lost They have to see him, aren't they? Like, why wouldn't they pursue after him? Why wouldn't they pursue after him? I don't understand. Like, he's barely running, and they just... Maybe I'm too nitpicky. This is all... This is, like... If you haven't seen the, uh... TV show, this is the intro. It's just animated how... Telltale animates. Pretty awesome. Gives you a rundown of, like, the whole world and what people... Like, where the episodes are at. Where we've been. That's the twins. That's where we just were. That's where they're gonna get married. And shit turns south. The wall. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the show, there's a wall built long ago to protect everything south from these creatures called the White Walkers. And there's people that protect it. That's where Ironrath, that's where uh, our family's from. Who we squired for us. He led that place. But the people that protect the wall are called the, uh, the Night's Watch. They're kind of, usually, most of the time, they're criminals or people that have nothing else. Episode 1, Iron from Ice. Okay, that's a pretty good place to stop part one. We got past the uh, intro. Uh, part two should be up tomorrow. So it's going to be a daily series. It'll be up every single day. So uh, leave a like button, share, comment, let me know. It's my first video. Don't be afraid to let me know how I did. Uh, see you guys in part two.